peace, peace, peaceful people. This is for my July Geminians. Peace, peace. All right. <clears throat> so this is your cycle reading focus, right? Before we go in, let us go back. How far are we going back? About six months. All right. And we're going to look at what you said the reading was for the year for our Gemini. For our Gemini's year, we got Sekar Tuchas Amen Hetep. Okay? Three. Right? Difficulty in the beginning. Right? Sekar delays being at peace. Amen. Right. You said that there will be delays and you must be at peace. Right? Difficulty in the beginning and you must be at peace. Right? Queen of Cups into the Tower. Okay, so Queen of Cups is doing things from an open heart space, a place of love, right? And then they meet the tower, right? Somewhere a tower comes in, right? So so whatever the case, you have Amen on the case, right? So if there's a yeah, Amen's on the case, that means you need to be Amen for this tower here. But if Amen shows up, right, says so Hatep, you know, God don't give you nothing you can't handle. So this is saying that you can be our men and handle this, right? You see our men sitting there. That means that the way you handle it and succeed is through your amen faculty of peace. You be at peace with this. You wait it out. Whatever it is, you wait in peace. Wait in peace. It's going to be difficult in the beginning, but you wait in peace, right? Be devoted. Queen of Cups, right? You be devoted to, to carrying out these instructions, right? But yeah, there's a, you know, for whatever this tower is, you won't have to do a wusa and be content. It's not the end of the world. It's just something that you're going to have to go through a wusa with. All right? I mean, relax is what I mean by a wusa. My Martin people know what I'm talking about. Um, all right. So, now we are up to date. Okay, second two, our men had All right, now we got, let's see what we got now. Jet to my heart. Okay, we go from Nekabet to Wajet. Wajet to my heart. Oser Hetep. Okay, Wajet to Oser Hetep. Okay, so watch that. It's too much. Oser hits up. All right, watch that. Too much. So we spoke about Nekabet being the cool side of psychic energy, right? The cool side of you know subliminal forces and things like that, right? Watch that is the hot side. So this is when the hot fire juju comes, right? And uh, yeah, you got to take extra measures to get right. Um, yeah, so, you know, this white jet is on the case. You know, Osir is following it. Osir is the God principle within. So this is calling for someone to be pure of mind and action at this point. Right? Pure of mind and action because these, these whatever these hot, you know, manifestations of life force are coming at you. Right? The way that you get through it is through your oneness. Oser, right? You have to invoke your oneness. So you're gonna have to be calm, right? And you know, like why jet could even, you know, okay, why jet is the type of why jet can be a shock, okay? Why jet could be the shock of gunfire, right? Is why jet, right? Uh, bomb blown is why jet, right? Uh, a sudden fight that pops out, a sudden something that happens that's violent is why jet, okay? So you know. Yeah, don't don't 
Don't, don't let me get y'all scared. All right, um, you know, white jet could also just be anger, right? This could be a hot manifestation of emotion, right? That you have to go ahead now and, you know, be neutral about at Osir. You have to go ahead and still that out and be neutral, okay? So, whatever the case, wherever you see this hot manifestation of, you know, life force, right? Whether it's anger, whether it's violence, whether it's a shocking surprise, right? You want to follow that with a neutral disposition, right? Something, you know, whatever it is, right? You're going to be concentrated on not coming off of your square, right? Or center is the square, right? You want to be on your square today, right? To shake off this YJet influence stuff, okay? You know, um, you guys might want to invest in the Soundwise app, right? Go to Soundwise app and get your mantra tapes for these deities, right? No affiliation with me, you know, in terms of the, uh, you know, the... Let me see, I, uh, yeah, I'm trying to put the link in the description there and uh, get that to y'all. But, uh, yeah, that's the way you really combat or, you know, address what you see here, right, by doing the meditations. See, in the meditations, when you meditate with the Menunitera, what you're doing is turning on your faculties, right? You know, you're turning on your faculties, and what happens when you do that is you see the visions that they are trying to communicate, okay? The, the various messages from your spirit are going to come when you turn it on, right? You, you turn on the vibration within all right, so this is asking you to turn on the God. Turn on the God with them. That should be a song. Turn on the God. Something like that. All right, here we go. Eking. Straight stress. Open stress. Open. Straight stress. Open stress. Open. Straight. Straight stress. Straight stress. Straight, straight, stress, straight, stress. Hexagram 10. Into the 30, no, into the 40. 10 into the 40. Okay. 10 into the 40. Okay. So the hexagram 10 is about conduct, right? How are you conducting yourself? Usually when you see this line, this is speaking about keeping to yourself, right? Conduct many many times comes up when it's about you know keeping to yourself, <laughs> right? So you know we got specific lines here. Let's right? see. Um, wait, that's not conflict. I mean conduct. That's wrong. This is twenty five. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Tripping. Okay. My bad, folks. That's hexagram 25 into the 40. All right. So 25 is the hexagram of innocence. Right? Innocence. This is also the, the hexagram of the unexpected. Aha. Right. So, yeah, many times you see... I've seen 25 linked with the Y-Jet. I've seen it, you know. And it usually is something unexpected, right? So something is unexpected here at this 25. All right, so at the first line, basically, this is when things start to move again, right? You know, perhaps things were standstill, right? They start to move again at the first line. At the second line, you're basically not looking for the result of what you do, but you're just doing what you do because it needs to be done, right? You're doing what you do for the sake of the fact that it needs to be done, and you're not really looking at the work. Or, or the result of the work. You're just saying, you know, let me do this work and you're trying to put in the best work you can at the second line here. At the fifth line, this is when, you know, you're being cautioned to don't do anything extra, right? Use no juju, right? It's like, you know, use no medicine, you know, um, for the circumstance, right? And use no medicine. This is kind of like basically saying, you know, yeah, you don't have to, don't do anything extra. You know, just concentrate on being blameless. Concentrate on being blameless. Don't do nothing extra, right? You don't have to, you know, go into no funny juju bags on this one, right? You can just do what you got to do. And at the top line, this is like, you know, any move you make is going to be viewed with suspicion kind of thing, right? So, 
there's something unexpected going on with the 25th line, right? 25th hexagram, right? You know, ultimately, you are supposed to keep your head down and keep doing your work, okay? Use no, you know, it'll be a, a, a shock, but you use no medicine to clear it up, right? You just let it be, right? You just kind of acknowledge whatever it is that happens, right? In a state of peace, in a state of neutrality, okay? Right? And it will be, you'll be delivered from whatever the circumstances, this 40th hexagram, right? The hexagram of deliverance. So, you know... The, you know, this is when the rain that was building up with the clouds finally comes, right? Finally, the rain comes, and you know, you know, the oppressive stagnation can end, kind of thing, right? So yeah, that's what deliverance is about. So yeah, so it's about being delivered from something, right? Delivering yourself from something, right? And uh, yeah, that's that, right? Also, yeah, look for the elements of uh, unexpected there with that, right, and again, it's going into the 40, which is deliverance, talk to the tarot, from a Gemini's, I said the tarot, that's what I said, y'all, huh. leaping out is the high priestess in reverse, secrets coming out, to a wand, secrets about plans, Secret planes. Page of Wands is in the reverse. Six of Wands is in the reverse. Seven of Swords is in the reverse. The Judgment, with some weight behind it, is in the reverse. Ace of Wands. Da da da. Right. Uh, Knight of Pentacles in the Chariot. Okay. What's going on? So, uh, Alright, so the high priestess is in reverse. Okay? This is the one who knows the secrets, but she's in reverse. Alright? Is this does she not know? Right? Does she not know the secrets? What's going on that's got this lady reversed, right? Well the two of wands, <coughs> which is very weighty, sits. So there's immaturity with that page of pentacles in the reverse. There's probably a stubborn strength and somebody cheating and a king of, a queen, a king of swords and an empress in the reverse. King, king of swords in the reverse, empress in the reverse, eight of cups. Okay, yeah, so this is, a, this is something to be walked away from, right? Um, looks like opportunities are on the horizon. This individual is having a hard time seeing what they need to do okay page of wands is in the reverse this is a you know uh yeah okay so the the initiating energy for things is in the reverse right because this person doesn't know what to do this person is you know the plan is not clear the plan is not totally clear here all right, six of Wands in the reverse. So this is infamous, right? So hmm, well, it's, it's, it, maybe someone's working on someone's reputation, or someone does something that goes against their reputation. Seven of Swords is in the reverse, right? So this, whatever the deception was, comes out, right? We're able to see whatever this is. The judgment is in the reverse. So it'll be a negative judgment. Most likely, we ain't gonna like what we see here, right? Again, yeah, we said this was seven of pentacles in the reverse. We said nine of swords, right? So this is somebody working on somebody else's head space, right? Ace of wands in the reverse, right? So that wands passionate energy is in reverse. <coughs> the knight of pentacles. So someone's trying to make a move, right, with this chariot. Knight of Pentacles going into the chariot, right? So yeah, so, you know, okay, that's what it looks like. It's like someone eventually gets on the move with this Knight of Pentacles into the chariot. Right? But yeah, you have, you know, it looks like secrets coming out. Secrets about... Party intrigues, betrayals, things that 
one group did against another person. And there's a negative judgment on it, right? This person's plans fail. Or whoever the instigator of this deception is, they, they fail here. And this other individual is made to get go, right? Come up out of the, right? The nine of, uh, of the Knight of Pentacles mentality of uh, slow and steady, and get on his bike, on the tar on the chariot, right? Get moving, okay? So yeah, so yeah, it looks like you know, it's looking like you know, a lot of these readings have come out where someone's trying to affect someone else. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why people don't buy any business. What is up with that? Where, 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 how are you so deluded that you think that you can? You know, you really gonna, you know, be gung ho about spell working somebody, right? About, you know, yo, yeah, I, I don't know. Look, y'all need to find some God, man. I mean, you know, look, the motivation for controlling someone through spell work comes from your own lack of confidence, your own lack of self confidence. Because, see, if you're confident, you don't need spell work, right? If you have some level of humility, then you can accept life's answers. Sometimes it ain't going to go the way that you want it to go. And you have to be fine with that. Because if you don't, you're going to waste your time doing all the kind of extra stuff. And you're going to make yourself sick because you're not at peace. Right? You're going to make yourself sick. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, look, uh, don't make yourself sick. <laughs> Doing goofy stuff, right? Following behind people who, you know, you know, maybe, you know, you got some problem with or something like that. Like, right? don't do that. Like, calm down. It's not that deep. You know, sometimes, you know, you have to just take the answer that the universe gives you and be humble. You know? And then you can always test and challenge that so the universe can knock you back. Right? But, yeah, man, you know. All of this funny stuff, man. Let somebody do what they're doing, right? You know, quit with the lies, quit with the cheats, the deception. You know, you don't have to do all that. There's no need for it. You live your life, let somebody else live their life, right? Like, it's not that hard. You know, you 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 know, some of y'all are dealing with ill karmas over you know the stuff that y'all are doing. You know what I mean? And y'all are deluded, thinking that it's something else. No, it's called karma. It's called what you do. Is seen by God every time, seen by your Shepsu, your ancestors every time, right? And there is an answer for that. None of that stuff goes unanswered. Stuff doesn't go unanswered, kid. So yeah, you know, I don't know. Y'all take this how it resonate, okay? My Gemini's, right? Focus on Osir. Focus on the Godhead to combat these wayward energies, right? Focus on getting your Wu Sao on, being neutral, right? Being neutral. All right? We're going to call that the end, folks. This is your reading. Y'all enjoy y'all's month. <laughs>